I'm Shruti from Bright Champs and today I'm going to show you how you can create a virtual town of your imagination using a programming language called Scratch. So at the end of this tutorial video, you will be able to create your own virtual town using different character and sprite. You can create either one story or you can create game also. So let's get started. This is Scratch. Today we are going to design our virtual town here. It is a block based coding language. So First of all, I'm going to choose one sprite or character. For that, I will click on the choose a sprite. After that, we will go to people. You can choose any of your favorite character of your choice. After that, I'm going to design one backdrop. For that, I will go here to choose a backdrop. I will click on paint brush. Then you can choose any background color that you want to put in your backdrop. Saturation of color, you can adjust according to you brightness and saturation then i'm clicking on fill convert to bitmap and click on screen after that again i will convert to vector and then i'm going to design here one sun using circle okay after this next thing we can make we can make one tree we can add you can adjust the color according to your preference. Okay. So my tree is ready. Next thing I'm going to do, we can create one hut or one house. For that, I'm choosing different color. And for roof also, I'm clicking on rectangle and I will choose little dark shade. Yes. Okay. And this is tall. So my heart is ready. Now we can make one black. So for link, we have to choose color blue. Okay. And back side I'm making new. Uh, now we can click on this reshape so that you can reshape your leg like this it will look more natural okay so my first backdrop is ready now i'm going to design my second backdrop for that again i will click on this fill i will choose any color and convert to vector click on screen again convert to bitmap and after that i'm going to click on rectangle and we will going to draw one road using it uh, okay like this you can make one row then again i will click on rectangle and we can make buildings so you can choose any color of your choice to make building like this okay and again i will also make one window so yes little lighter shade i will choose perfect okay next thing we can do we can make one heart so again i will click on rectangle and choose some different color for my heart and yes here we can make heart and it's through with little dark and light shade like this okay and after it i am too lazy to paint it for that we can do one thing uh, we can click on this arrow and we can click on uh, and select the whole thing use, uh, using shift key and copy it and paste. So like this, without drawing it again, you can click on any part and hold shift key and select them all and copy and paste. So yes, my building and my house is looking good and after it we can do one thing we can ch change the color according to our preference next i'm going to draw another backdrop in that i will again convert to bitmap choose fill and choose the color of night okay, little. and then Convert again to vector, click on paint brush, choose color white. And now I'm going to 
draw stars. After this, we can make moon also like this and it up and again to make it more na natural we can choose gray color okay and after this i'm going to design one road for that i'm choosing brush and i'm going to increase its size like 100 and choose color Uh, we can make it a little lighter. Okay, perfect. We can make road like this using paintbrush. Okay. We can paint it till down. Now next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to design one house. So we will going to click on this square. We will going to choose another color for our house like this. And yep. After this, I'm going to choose some lighter shade. Okay. After this, we can make one tree also. So for tree, you can again choose one square. You can choose brown color, and a circle, draw the brown shapes. Now after it, next thing we can do, we can hold our shift key, we can select the whole tree and to make our task more easier, we can copy and paste it. So yes, like this. So our perfect scenery is ready. Now next thing I'm, uh, I'm going to do, we will be going to do our code on character. So my backdrops are ready. Now we will go to band go so in uh, first i'm going to take two more sprite here so that we can move forward and backward in our backdrop for that i will go to choose a sprite and click on this arrow again i'm going to choose arrow and one arrow i will keep it here and another arrow here so for previous background we can use this arrow and for next we can use this one but this arrow is pointing towards the right. So we can do one thing. We can go to the costume. We can flip it horizontal. Okay, now it's perfect. Now first, I will going to do my coding on arrow. So to apply any action in Scratch, we will go to event. Now, if I want that when you click on the subscribe. You, then we will go to looks. Our backdrop should switch to the previous one. Now, I will go to this one arrow. Similarly, I will go to event. I will take when this is right click. Your backdrop should change into next. So let's try. Okay, it's working perfect. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I will do my coding on pen. So we can do like this. We can first decrease its size like 60 from here and after this we can again go to event now i'm going to take when space key press then i'm going to change this into right arrow so as you know in scratch horizontal if our character move horizontally then uh, its x value will going to change and when it go from this side of the stage to this side of the stage from left to right then x value will change x value is positive at the right hand side and it is negative at the left side 
Similarly, if you move your character from up to down and down to up, its Y value will going to change. Uh, upside it is positive and downside it is negative. So horizontally means your X value will change and vertically means your Y value will going to change. So now we are going to the right side. So the value of our X will going to change. And as we are moving right, so it will be positive. So we will go to motion. We will take change x y then okay let's try oh okay it's working now next thing we can do again we will go to event to apply some action we will take when space key press and now i will change it to left arrow key now we are moving to the left side of the stage so our y value will go uh, x value will going to change by negative because we are going to the left hand side so I will go to motion again. We are going to take change x by minus 10. Okay, let's see. But no, it is not looking at left hand side. I want that my character or sprite should look at the right side when it is moving. So to make it look at the left side, we can do one thing. We can take this point in direction and change it to minus 90 degree. Okay, let's see but it is rotating like this when we put this so to make it move left right we will take set rotation style to left and right so it will not rotate and it will move left right so again let's see okay now it is looking like this but now again i have to turn it to the right hand side also so i will take pointing direction 90 degrees so let's see perfect now it is moving left and right correctly so you can, when you click on this arrow you can go to different backdrops and yes your character will going to move like this using arrow key. so hope you find this video helpful uh, and Please, if you have any doubt and theories, you can ask me in comment section. I will also answer your all doubts and theories. If you want an amazing video like this, uh, then please like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.